Friends, this is Father Richard Erickson. I have the great privilege of serving as a priest of the Archdiocese of Boston and as a reserve chaplain in the United States Air Force. In the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John, we hear Jesus telling us, no one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Every person who's ever served in the military has been willing to do this, to lay down her or his life. In this series, No Greater Love, we're reflecting on the life and example of a few men and women who have served God and country in the military with spiritual fortitude and with courage. Today, we're looking at the life and the example of a recent recipient of the Medal of Honor. Captain, Chaplain, Father, Emil, Joseph Capon was the ninth American chaplain to receive this award, which was bestowed by President Barack Obama in April of 2013. Father Capon died as a prisoner of war in the Korean War. He was one of 12 chaplains to perish in Korea. Of Czechoslovakian ancestry, Emil is a native of Kansas, grew up on a farm, and was ordained for the Diocese of Wit uh, Wichita at the age of 24. There are many wonderful recollections of Father Capon's ingenuity and humor. A favorite one was told by his nephew during interviews prior to the Medal of Honor ceremony. A daily chore of Emil's mom in their 80-acre farm was to milk the family dairy cow. One day she assigned the task to Emil, but the cow was not having anyone unfamiliar touch her and wouldn't let Emil near. Emil used a clever tactic to milk the cow. He went to his mother's closet, used her bonnet and clothes. The familiar scent tricked the cow into thinking it was Mrs. Capon, and so it gave its milk. The cow literally came to her senses and allowed Emil to milk her. This can-do spirit and commitment to getting the job done served Chaplain Capon well through his time in military service. Like every other chaplain, he did not fight battles. He was a non-combatant. He served the men and women who served us. Soldiers recall times when Father Capon picked lice off of soldiers who were unable to do so. As a POW, he worked with others to smuggle medication into fellow prisoners. Other POWs shared how Father Capon dug latrines, kept up morale, and was always ready to offer Mass no matter what his physical ailments were. During one battle, Father Capon offered Mass from the hood of his Jeep, which was so damaged at one point that he rode a bicycle to attend to soldiers. Father John Hutsey, who served in Wichita as director of the Father Capon Guild, has spoken to many of Father Capon's fellow servicemen. Father Hutsey says, they talked about how they would never have been able to survive had it not been for Father Capon, who gave them hope and courage to live. In addition to the Medal of Honor, Father Capon has been recognized with a bronze star for his bravery. This recognition was given for risking his life through enemy fire to drag wounded soldiers to safety. It was a brutal conflict with little information getting through to the troops on the ground, some of whom did not know that the Chinese military had entered the war alongside North Korea. In 1993, Pope John Paul II declared Father Capon to be a servant of God. It's not surprising that Father Capon is on the road to sainthood given his exceptional faithfulness to God, country, and the church. And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, in the midst of folly and of war, your servant, Chaplain Emil Capon, spent himself in total service to you on the battlefield and in the prison camps of Korea until his death at the hands of his captors. We now ask you, Lord Jesus, if it be your will, to make known to all the world the holiness of Chaplain Capon, and the glory of his complete sacrifice for you by signs of miracle and peace. In your name, Lord, we ask, for you are the source of peace, the strength of our service to others, and our final hope. Amen. <laughs>